So I'm in a place. I just got off the ferry. You saw the video of the guys canoeing across. I couldn't, I had to, I had to row, so I couldn't take video. Um, but I'm in this little town. This is right after you get off the ferry. It's called Caratunk. Nice little uh, small town out in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty cool. Not much here but houses. But a lot of old houses here. Here's all for all my all, all you liberals out there. My trigger. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. There you go. You got the red, white, and blue flying proudly. A little house, pretty cool. How cool is this town? This town is really cool. Not a lot here. No stores. None of that stuff. Um, I think they go into Monson. I think it's about 30 miles away. A little bigger, but not much. But you get the woods out here, but you, you get the houses right across the street. That's pretty cool. I always said I'd, and I have so many aspirations of where I'm gonna end up and what I'm doing and, and all that. But how cool would it be to live in a little town like this? They get too much snow here, so I wouldn't be this far north. It'd be cool to have a little house up here, some place you hang out in the summer, you know, hang out, chill out, <clears throat> and just enjoy life. You know? How cool is this town? <laughs> it's called Caratunk, Maine. And uh, I walked up, I didn't go quite to the post office, they have a post office there that you can use their phone because there's no service in this area uh, you can use their phone to call for a shuttle ride to you can get into Monson or you can get into they got a place called the Sterling Inn here it's set up for hikers and they'll come and get you from the post office and take you to the inn they have a full resupply they have a little store but I'm not gonna I wasted too much time yesterday I got to where I was going, I think I got into camp between 3.30 and 4. Might have been a little later. I don't remember what time. I don't remember what time it was, but it was still really daylight out. And um, uh, so I missed the ferry yesterday, so I had to wait till 9 today. It's about 9.30 now, so I'm not on the trail. I'm in Caratunk, like I said. The trail is straight ahead. You can see the intersection up there. I came across there. I just wanted to walk through the town and check it out. I'm here, right? First and last time I'll ever be here. So, <laughs> uh, but I thought I would just walk down this little quarter mile to check it out. A lot of old houses here though. Um, trails right up here around the corner. Anyway, it is day 41 for me. Um, the goal is I heard got a couple of hills to climb but uh, they said they the going it's a little bit steep but it's not treacherous and the going uh, goes pretty easy so maybe I can get some miles in the goal was to get into Monson tomorrow night and spend Monday in Monson maybe or because there's no way I'm gonna make it tomorrow early I thought I could bust out some miles today but there is a couple of climbs and so we'll see no plan. I'm gonna go until I'm done. 
and then uh, uh, I'll keep going. I got 30, I think I looked, it was 36 miles to go to get to Monson. I really have a lot of business to take care of in Monson. I gotta change my, uh, something at the house online or talk to some people. I gotta get new gear here. I gotta mail stuff home to the post office because I had stuff mailed here that I can't use now. So, um, let me see, this is the trailhead here. Appalachian Trail North. Going up here. <clears throat> so, no real plan. It's it's realistic that I'll be in Monson. I think today is the I want to say the eighth. So it's a good assumption that I'll be in on the tenth in Monson. Spend the night, take care of all my gear, all my stuff and then be back out by the 11th. That puts me out of the 100 mile wilderness about 16th, 15th, 16th, and then uh, jumping up over Katahdin, I think the 17th, somewhere around there. That gets me down to Millinocket, 17th. Um, and I'll spend the night at the lodge there and then um, get down to Bangor and figure out if I'm taking a train, plane, bus. Uh, I don't know yet. Have to get there and see whatever, what works the most. I'll probably jump on. I don't know how close I can get to Dalton on the train but I know I can get right into Dalton on, on a bus. Problem with the bus is I think it's a, it might take 16, 18 hours to go, but I might be okay with that. So um, anyway, we'll see how that goes. We've got a week to plan all that out. That's where I'm coming from. So I think that's the end of my morning and uh, I will touch back to you later go up these hills and see what it looks like and then uh, we'll see where we end up today. Okay, that's my story for now. Yep, unexpected climbing today. Didn't see this mountain or the next one on the charts. So, I'm getting as many miles today. Bad planning. With the getting here too late for the shuttle yesterday or the boat and then getting out so late this morning not seeing these mountains really changes everything this poor planning anyway it's all good nice views Hey everyone, and I think it's the uh, end of day of 41. Um, 
I'm in my tent and I'm surrounded by people. Um, I only got about 16 miles today. I got one more mountain to go over. It's only four miles though. Um, and then I'm into Monson tomorrow night. So puts me into Monson Sunday night. I'll spend the night. I'll see how it goes on Monday, whether or not I spend the night on Monday or not. So um, anyway, went good today. And uh, almost at 100 mile wilderness. Almost done. Uh, it's really good chance I will summit Katahdin either on the 16th or the 17th, something like that. Um, depends on Monday. So, anyway, uh, that's my story for day 41. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Be safe.